first step is to remove the covers and the weather strip. I'm not showing that in a video, but it's pretty easy. So the next step is to remove the two screws that are behind the grill, uh, on each side of the grill. Those screws are at Torx 25, a very hidden location, so this is the most difficult part of the project. So you will need a low profile ratcheting tool, like the orange one I'm showing there, and you will have to create some space in the grill to insert your hand and the tool in order to loosen the, the screw like that when I was halfway of loosening the screw I was having a hard time with the ratcheting tool so what I did was basically I uh, got a, a wrench, a small wrench, uh, to help me out uh, with the turns of the ratchet. So, one hand inside of the wheel, uh, keeping the ratchet in place, and with the other hand, uh, with the wrench, uh, turning around the ratchet. So after a while you'll be able to loosen it up and off, so you won't need the ratchet anymore. You can basically continue the job with your own hand and unscrew it. Next you will go to the other side of the wheel and you have the same situation, same exact screw. So it should be easier because now you know how to do it from the previous one. Uh, it's still tough to remove it to the hand to the place where it needs to be, but uh, other than that, I think it is a secret at this point. So once you remove those two screws, the rest is pretty easy. Uh, be careful when trying to attach the wheel. Uh, it's uh, using some clips and you have to exert some force. So be careful not to damage the paint on the bumper. But all in all, it's easy once you remove those uh, even screws. Good luck. <laughs>